All right, welcome back. So we are in part two of our spinner, which is where we are going to start figuring out how do we build in some of the elements that we need to make this a really successful project. So let's walk through it. Again, I'm going to leave this little camera business as, so you can see what's what. So last we left, we had our sprite, and it, when it spun, it told us how much we made. We changed it so it spun. The other thing I didn't mention is that we broadcasted a message, which was check. So you're checking to see what happens. So you could, to do that, um, that's under events and you broadcast a message and you can label those anything. And messages are really, really handy. So broadcast check. And when this sprite receives check, it then checks to see what you got. Okay, all the different options of what um, the amounts you could win. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play with our backdrop. So we're actually gonna create or paint our own backdrop that tells people what they get. So for this, what you're gonna really need is to know what colors make which amounts of money. So I'm gonna take a picture of mine so that we have that. This is where having too many colors kind of becomes a little bit annoying. So here we go. We're going to paint our own outline. I'm going to make it a cool background um, by picking a square, choosing your fill. You can actually swap two different colors through, which makes it look really, really cool. Make a gradient. All right, that's cool. I'm good with that. And I make this square with that really cool color in the middle, and that's going to be the background. So the spinner will kind of be in a circle in the middle. And then on the side here, we're going to have our instructions. So I'm just going to start typing in. So by using the text box and choosing which um, which of the text I like, so I'll do pixel, you can actually start writing. So I'm just going to write what value you get for each one. All right, so now you can see that I've added in my values of what everything happens. So you go broke if you hit that red-ish one. I'm going to make it redder um, and then three dollars per spin so now i have a cost that it's going to cost them a certain amount of money each time they spin and then they can win money so now it really feels like a carnival all right so that is our spinner that is our background and that is all set so now i'm back into my coat and here's where i get a chance to really set how much money people can start the game with and then what they can do once the game is started how do we charge them money each time that they each time that they spin the wheel. So let's walk through how to do that. And that actually comes through variables. And variables, remember, are anything that can change, right? You're just putting it, it's like a placeholder. And we already have a variable, what result they get when they spin it. So now we're gonna set a variable called your money. So we need to make a variable called your money. Once you make that variable, it gives us a title and it gives us a little, it always has it um, showing. You don't have to have it show. You can click or unclick the box there to make it show up. And when the game starts, we actually want to set the amount of money that you get to a certain amount. So we could say they start this game with $30. So when the game starts, you set your money to 30 and so now they know, hey, we've got $30 to start. It costs them $3 per spin. They're going to get 10 spins, and they can see how much money they actually get. All right, so we're going to set it up so when the game starts, you end up with 30 And then we every time you're going to spin, you're going to take away $3. So what you actually get to do here is use that variable again of your money, and you're going to change it. Every time you click on the sprite, it changes by negative 3 take three dollars away every time you spin now we get to go into the other sprite and this is kind of the fun part where you can now add up the money so you're we already have our results right we are setting our results by a certain amount now all we're going to do is if you get a certain amount you change your money by results so now my money will change by the amount of money i've made so Right, if I put it inside the box, my results are one, so I would change my money by one. So you actually lose two dollars on that spin, but you get a dollar back. And so I'm just going to duplicate that nine times because I know I have it, I need it nine times. All right, so there we have it. Let's test it out and see if it works. So I'm going to stop, start, and here we go. It's pointing at 90 degrees. I spin my wheel, it goes fast, then slows down. slows down even further and I won two dollars you can see that I went from having 30 spending three on the spin winning two so now I am at 29 dollars and it actually works so that's the game in a nutshell the next video will just show, uh, showcase a few little accoutrements or small details you could put in to make it a little bit more fun